So it should be about 0.5 at rest, going up to about 4.9. So that throttle is slightly off. We need to see if we can adjust the, the end stop on it. So what it's telling me is this twist grip here, it's not, it's not giving you, it should go to about 4.9 maximum. Yeah. So it's, now, when we check it, yeah. the input to the controller, yeah. if everything's working within the wiring loom, yeah. should be about 3.3. Yeah. Because that's the maximum voltage this is sending out yeah. when I give it that calibrated 5 volts. Okay. Yeah. And, yeah. So can we just up the power output of that to that and see... So you, no, 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 you, um, can't. you can't overload it? No. No, you can't. I, I, I saw that. I, you see what I'm saying? I, I do see what you're saying. I could damage it then, couldn't it? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so it's sending out 4.94. And then if you put it so on the blue one, which is the signal, uh, AN2. Oh. Yeah, so we were starting off at about 0.8 volts yeah. when I was giving it 5. And we're going up to 1.7. Oh. That's well off. Uh, definitely the throttle that then. switch is yeah. we connected it via the electronic output yeah. we're measuring the output on the output side of the Back controller on. yeah and we're measuring what's going to the motor all right you ready okay we put the ignition on we're <laughs> <laughs> we'll we'll going in somewhere. senior lecture <laughs> <laughs> all right you ready that's it, one volt. One volt. There you go. If we take it up to about 72. 72 volts? Yeah. Oh, there's three volts on here. Three volts. Yeah. And 48, 50 volts. 53. 51, 2, 5. What's the RPM? RPM 4, 3, 5, 9. That's 64 volts. So that's just applying the feed, not the 5 volt feed directly, Yeah. which has replaced the switch. Yeah. So we know that's false. Yeah, so we get a new one in there. I'll call the guy now, see if he's got yeah. one of these on the shelf. Okay.